Welcome to Sales Chaos TV. My name is Dan Waldschmidt. I am an ordinary dude with an outrageous vision. That's at least my tagline, but I write a blog. I'm a sales strategist. I speak. I run. Um, usually from crazy people like this guy, yes, my partner. Yes. I'm Todd Schnick, marketing strategist, writer, speaker, distance runner myself. Kind of an outrageous guy. Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. I think you fit the mold as well. Yes. Which is good. Yes. Which is why we're doing a show together. Absolutely. Now, we call this Sales Chaos TV because we put time on the clock. When the, when the chime hits, boom, we stop talking. It's over. You go back to being awesome. Okay? Now, usually we talk about things like social media strategy. We talk about uh, business. We talk about how to make more money. Today, uh, we want to get really personal with you. And we're not, you know, we're a pretty serious topic to talk to you about. We want to talk, we want to talk a little bit about the human side of business. Um, and Todd ends almost every episode by saying, "Treat people like a freaking human being," or something like this. I misquote you, but something you know Close. always comes off with this phrase. I wanted to talk about just how much it matters that you treat people personally. Um, a few days ago, I read Chris Brogan's post on uh, what happened in, in 2011. And he wrote this post about here's the good stuff that happened, here's the bad stuff that happened. He talked about one of the things that was deeply personal to him was the fact that he was splitting up with his wife and that what mattered to him the most was his children. And it, it was a really thoughtful, um, you could almost feel the emotion in the, in the post coming off about a man who was uh, successful, you know, Chris, you know, that he is the de facto kind of guru on all things social media, genuinely cares about people. I mean, as you mentioned, we were talking in uh, the pre show, uh, this company is all about humans. His business is called Human Business Works. Right. So here's a guy who, as he's rising up the charts of publicity, and, you know, he's done work with Tony Robbins and, uh, and work with, you know, Seth Godin and people all over, the, uh, all over the world. Here's a guy who's going through this deep, kind of emotional pain and what I the lesson from that is just that people are going through more than than what they tell us and well we're all dealing with that see you, you, if you read a hundred blogs out there yeah. right from your your various thought leaders and you read the about us pages and all those blogs you would think they're superheroes oh sure sure they're not sure Chris yeah. Brogan, as successful as he is and, and as and as giving and as loving as he is to his his community He's dealing with real life stuff. Yeah. You know, you have dealt with real life stuff. Yeah. I lost a baby this past year. We're all dealing with life yeah. stuff. Yeah. And, and see, I think people, you know, they sit there and they're trying to close a deal. Right. And their sales managers harassing them, saying, How come this thing hasn't closed yet? And they're like, I can't get a hold of this guy. And so our natural inclination is to think, He doesn't like me, doesn't yeah. like my product, doesn't like my service. Deal's dead. Deal must be dead yeah. and hate us. Yeah. They, our presentation must have sucked. And yeah. when the fact remains, change a paradigm, maybe they lost their father yesterday, or may, maybe yeah. their child is ill, yeah. or maybe they're having financial troubles, yeah. and they have real issues. And so your deal, your, yeah. your, your proposal that you gave them is really low on their priority list. And I think we forget that sometimes. And, it, but, and I think it's really, and I'll be honest with you, Dan, for me it's really, really freeing yeah. when, I, when I can look at an audience and say, we're all human beings. We all have problems. That's right. We're all dealing with right. stuff, yeah. Yeah. you know. And, and stuff we probably don't want to talk about too much. Yeah. No. Right. Well, yeah. here's my example of the 100 blogs and the 100 perfect about yeah. us biographies. Yeah. They're not perfect. Yeah. No one's perfect. Seth sure. Godin isn't perfect. Yeah. He's got stuff he's dealing with. Yeah. Well, we all are, yeah. you know. And so I think if you can. Well, there's no child molesters on on LinkedIn. Right? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no axe murders. Everybody has got years of experience and they're ninjas about something, right? Right. Everybody's right. a ninja. Absolutely. Uh, you know, another personal story. I, I uh, Another, like Chris, um, another social media expert named Trey Pennington, who had an office downstairs in the same building I had an office in South Carolina, um, committed suicide earlier uh, in mid-2011. Yeah, mid last year. And he was a guy who traveled with guys like Chris and, and was a real uh, kind of a f authority, I would say, on oh, it was a storytelling. Very much a recognized leader in the social I media mean, space. I mean, he was considered one of the top 20... Uh, experts on this stuff, Experts yeah. and gurus in that, in that thought space. I mean, he was very well recognized, very well received. And just the pain that he had going on in his life with, you know, wife leaving and different things like that that just kind of culminated together to where he felt like he couldn't he couldn't make it. He couldn't, you know, take live another day and he, and he took his life. Now, 
if you may be, you may be watching this, you may be thinking, okay, well, that's two guys, and I don't think Chris Brogan's going to commit suicide, and that one guy did, and, and you know, Todd's had any bad issues, and I've had bad issues, but, 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 but those are just the drama. No, that's real life. If you look around, uh, the statistics sh tell us that three out of four people in an office setting are clinically depressed. Three out of four. This is crazy. And we're here talking about how you get LinkedIn followers and how you can Twitterize to make a million dollars. And you know what people want? They just want to be loved. People want to be appreciated, which is why if you stop the craziness and just genuinely ask someone, I know like when you lost your baby, you kind of, uh, you know, uh, you kind of retreated for, you know, a month or so and just you and your girlfriend wanted to make sure that, you know, you, you guys were on the same page and recovering. And I know I, when I went through some uh, emotional stuff, I, I did the exact same thing. I, it took me years to recover. People don't want your sales pitch. People don't want your join me and you'll make a million dollars. That's all fantasy. People want to know that they matter, that what they do matter, that their opinion matters, and that even if they screw up, that they're not a screw up for life, right? That, that, that there's another opportunity. So if you're on uh, uh, you know, uh, the top of your calendar thinking of ways that you can dominate this year, really, and, and, you're, and all of us are planning to dominate, to do more, to be better, to grow our businesses, especially with social impact, Think about how you can give to others. Now, giving starts with gratitude. You know, we save Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. Would we all, you know, hold hands around a turkey and cranberry sauce and, and talk about what we're thankful for, and then we go about the rest of our lives, which I think is funny because we go right from Thanksgiving to the most selfish season of the year, <laughs> which is Christmas, where it's like, oh, I didn't get that, I wanted this. And, 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 and so we just drive our lives by what's in it for me, and I'll tell you what, you might be successful getting what's in it for you. And there's a lot of people who do. But Human you being won't. isn't an entry in your CRM database. Well, that's right. There's a real person there who's dealing with life struggles. Yeah. Probably the same damn ones that you're dealing with. And I, and yeah. I, and I think you just have to, it's a major paradigm shift sure. for a lot of people. Particularly if you're being harassed by a sales manager who's like, meet your numbers, meet your numbers, yeah. you're failing, you're failing. Well, you're dealing with a database full of real people dealing with stuff, and I think you just have to recognize that. And I think the sales managers need to need to adjust their thinking on that. I mean, they have their expectations from their management too. I get all that, but I, you know, it just it drives me insane when 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 people just treat uh, think that everybody's just perfect and that that. The, the, all I'm doing every morning is thinking about how I can close the deal I'm working with you on. Well, yeah. That's the last thing on most people's minds. So yeah. They're struggling with real life stuff. Yeah, that, and most of us won't. If we fail in 2012, if this year is a year that goes kablooey on us, here's my prediction. It won't be because we don't have the business smarts. And it won't be because we don't master a social strategy. It won't. We'll fail because we don't care enough about the people we want to do business with. Well, as you said pre-show, we suck at life. We do. That's where we suck at. We, we, we're pretty good at when we see it, uh, an opportunity running after it and grabbing it. We're pretty good at that. Whether you're a rookie or whether you're a pro. You, so maybe the pro does it better than the rookie, but, but, but you're pretty good at that. What we suck at is when life gives us an uppercut and a child that we love gets cancer or a spouse decides to leave or we run into you know, emergency money problems that were unexpected. Any one of these things that are happening all around us and so if we're going to master life, we're going to be successful, here's the challenge for, for this year is, you know, fix your giving strategy. Your social strategy will take care of itself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I know we're out of time. Yep. So tell us what you think. Uh, yeah. This is a very important subject to Dan and I, and I suspect it's something we're going to talk about on and on and on over time. So tell us what you think. That wraps this episode. On behalf of Dan Walshman, I'm Tosh Nick. We'll see you next time on Sales Chaos TV.